Hi friends, welcome back! Thanks again for joining me today and if you are new here, my name is Eileen. Welcome to my channel. I would love for you to stick around by subscribing and hitting the notification bell so that you will get notified every time I upload. In this video, I'm going to share with you 3 door hangers DIY projects. Yeah, so let's get started! For this DIY, you need this two window decor and the tray from Dollar Tree and I just removed the sign and to remove the glue on the window, I use my blow dryer and then I just scrape it and it's it was easy. I also use the sandpaper to smooth it out and so that the paint will adhere more and here i will be using the e6000 and also the hot glue to attach the two windows then for the tray i will be using zip ties just make sure that the lock of the zip ties is behind the window so that it's not visible later on Here I am using the rust in copper. It works really great on the window but on the tray, the paint was spilling off so I recommend using another clear coat to seal it. Once the paint is dry, I will set this aside and I will be working on the hello sign that I got from Dollar Tree. I will be painting it using the celery by Waverly. I gave it two coats. Then I just attached the hello sign on the window and you can also use any color that you like to paint the window, the hello sign. I just choose this paint or this color because it matches my decor and I have this burlap on hand I think I got it from Walmart but you can use anything that you have on hand and I just hot glue it on the tray like this Then I just apply hot glue on the excess burlap and just pinch it like this to finish it up. Then I will be adding this Spanish moss and I have some greenery that I have on hand. You can put flowers or any greenery that you have on hand. Then you are done with this DIY. It's very easy. And you can also hang this on the door or you can decorate it on the table. <laughs> Anything that you like. Yeah, so what do you think guys? In this video is a collaboration with my friend Rebecca from Rebecca Virginia DIY. She's making beautiful Dollar Tree farmhouse, modern farmhouse, rustic home decor. So for sure you're gonna love her. She's very talented. And also make sure to visit her channel after you finish my video. Tell her I sent you. Thanks Rebecca for the fun collaboration. Yeah, so let's proceed to our next DIY. For our next DIY, I have this watering can that I've got from Walmart and I used it on my previous project that's why it has the white thing on it and here I am sanding it down so that the paint will adhere more and I will be using the Waverly chalk paint to paint this watering can. You can use spray paint but make sure to 
use primer or sand it properly so that the spray paint will stick more and as you can see I really sanded the watering can so good so that the paint will adhere more because I don't want this to <laughs> be a mess so yeah I will just use my chalk paint in line and white and I gave it two to three coats after several coats this is how it looks like and I will be putting this masking tape and I will paint the bottom part with my antique wax by Waverly Once it is dried, I just peeled off the masking tape and then I have this wall sticker that says bloom from within but we only need the word bloom so I just cut it. And here I am using the matte mud podge to seal it and my first plan for this project is to hang it as a door hanger using the fake flowers but I changed my mind what if I'm going to make this as a planter it's still a door hanger but it's a planter so I using my soldering iron to make the opening wider for my plant and you can also use the scissors it will work or <laughs> yeah if you have soldering iron it's better and then i am cleaning the burns with the scissors and then we will be touching up all the filled paint with my chalk paint line and white and then we will be adding more holes for the drainage of the plant poking two holes for our ribbon so that we can hang the watering can and then I noticed that the antique wax that I put on the bottom part is peeling off so I am using the clear gloss to seal it but the white paint it it's not peeling off it works really good and then I have this ribbon that I've got on at Joanne's I am putting it on the holes in I tied two knots then I went out to plant some of the flower on the watering can I have this planting soil I just put half of the soil and then I added these flowers I don't know the name so if you know the name let me know on the comment below these are really pretty I just planted it then tada you are done with this DIY so what do you think of this project this DIY you need these giant craft sticks 
from Walmart and I'm just connecting it with the small popsicle sticks from Dollar Tree. I printed this pot for my pattern. I will put the link on the description box below if you want to use it too. I made it so that it will give me a good size and shape of the barrel that I'm gonna make. And you can also freehand this if you like. Then I will be tracing it on the board that we made. I made some or I I am extending the line so that I have a bigger barrel. After tracing the pots, we will be using the scissors to cut the giant sticks and for this part, it's so easy to cut it because there's no popsicle sticks on the back and it was easy but for the slanting part there are a lot of popsicle sticks so i used the exacto knife to cut it and yeah it helps Then I added more popsicle sticks to secure it more. And here I am beating up the craft sticks so that it will give you a nice wooden look when you will stain it. Then I used the antique wax by Waverly and I used the wet wipe to apply it. I also put two coats so that it looks darker. Then I used the sandpaper from Dollar Tree to smooth it out and it will give me more dimension. Then to add more detail, I have this cookie sheet. I will cut the side of the cookie sheet and then I will cut two pieces like this. The cookie sheet is very shiny so let's dub some pewter gray by apple barrel and I gave it two coats because the first coat is very thin so I added more coats and then I let it dry and then dub another coat of white acrylic paint and then to blend it I went back with my pewter gray and then I will be adding the black acrylic paint and lastly to make it more rustic i added the antique wax and that's how i galvanized this cookie sheet and then we will be attaching it on the barrel that we made I just use hot glue but be careful because the hot glue gets so hot on the cookie sheet. Then I just use the exacto knife to cut the excess cookie sheet on the side and it looks like this and now I have this Jenga blocks I hot glue four pieces on each side and then two Jenga blocks on the bottom part then I will be staining the Jenga blocks using the antique wax and then I feel like it needs one more block even though it doesn't it's not the right size it's okay because it will be hiding <laughs> then 
then I will set this aside. I will be working on the board. I have this Easter board. I just remove all the embellishment and then I will be painting it with my pewter cray. I gave it two to three coats. Then I just use my blow dry to make the drying faster. And then I have this level in Sharpie. I draw some lines to make this a shift lap forward. And then we will be using the white acrylic paint in this brush from Dollar Tree. I just dry brush it on the board. And I also made the wood knobs. I just twist the brush with the black acrylic paint to make. The wood knobs. Then here I dry brush the pewter gray to blend all of the paint that we put on the board. And then we will be attaching the jingle blocks on the barrel using the hot glue. And then I use the wood glue to attach the jingle blocks and the barrel on the board. Then to add more details, I grabbed six thumbtacks and painted it with the black acrylic paint and let it dry and then I poked it on the barrel and the cookie sheet. Then I made the hole bigger using the drill and then I have the nautical rope that I've got from Dollar Tree. I just use the one strand and that will be our hanger. Then I just put the nautical rope in the hole like this and tied two knots. I arranged some of the flowers that I've got from the Dollar Tree and greenery. Then, ta-da! Here is our DIY. I really love how it turned out. You can also add bow like this. So, what do you think? Do you like the one with the bow or without? Yeah, so thanks again for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you do, please give me a big thumbs up and let me know on the comment below what's your favorite. Again, don't forget to visit Rebecca. And bye guys, see you on my next DIY. Take care and God bless you all.